This is Big Cat reporting live from downtown Chicago, Draft Central. We will see a bunch of fans dressed in uh, ridiculous costumes. I myself, I am dressed in my nicest suit because when you go to the draft, you have to expect to be drafted and no one's gonna draft a guy who's wearing a jersey or a seersucker suit. So this is what you got. I got a little bling too for the people. So people are gonna be talking about that when they call my name. Hopefully in the first round, if not the first round, I'd expect it in the second. We got an Eagles fan here. Uh, has Chip Kelly lost his mind? Nah, not at all. You actually, oh, you're a real, you got the, the I got faith accent. in Chip. <laughs> you got the Philly accent that makes me want to throw up. I like it. Be totally honest with me. You close your eyes at night, every single night, and you see that interception. You're absolutely right. We got a father-son, Bengals, uh, Chargers fans. This is like the NFL's commercial where like everyone becomes a fan of a different team and makes me want to puke. How's it feel to root for a bunch of cheaters? Well, first of all, it's I bought ten dollars. Sure. You sound like you're well, a nefarious figure, and I don't like the look of you. Are you? Excited for Jameis Winston. Are you a little concerned about the off-field stuff? So hopefully he can take some advice and hopefully it was just stupid college things that he did that we all regret 10 years down the road, five years down the road, etc. I never, yeah, I, I did some, like I drank too much in college. I didn't rape anyone, but yeah, I agree. Well, no, yeah, yeah you know. most, most Have you ever heard of Bill's Mafia? Oh yeah, I'm a part of that. I am too, actually. Marino's part of the organization again, right? He's back in it. And we had to. We needed somebody to coach that quarterback and get him, you know, up to speed as far as mentally. I think he has the physical ability, but mentally. But, I mean, now this might be a crazy question, but you would you really want a guy who's never won a Super Bowl to mentally be coaching your quarterback? And what's with the beads? You look like Michael Scott coming back from Jamaica right now. What, what's with those? Uh, I've been to games before, and it's just a, uh, you know, Something to rile up the fans, I guess. Yeah, what's up? How, how depressing is your life today, every day? How depressing is every day? Not to shit on us. It's bad. bad. Burn down, burn. Yeah, yeah. Burn down. It's, it's bad. We, we need we, a quarterback. We get through. We yeah, get we need through. a quarterback. We, you just drafted a quarterback. We need a real quarterback. Yeah. I know I'm wearing the jersey. We need a real quarterback. So you fell into the hype pretty quickly. You were like... The Chinese website was like 10 bucks. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Ravel would be Friendly pretty upset about that. Order, yeah. Order. All right, so 12 and 19, what do you think the Browns are going to do? Will they screw it up? Uh, well, no, they will screw it yeah, up. Yeah, we yeah, know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But w how badly will they screw it up? We're hoping not too bad. we got a nice little buzz on. We're just trying to go in there. Hey, and uh, enjoy it. Yeah. Trevor Padula, Hunter. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can't underestimate field position. <laughs> you can't. All right. What do you think about the rumor on the streets that Jeff Fisher has a little bit of problem with pooping his pants from now and now and now and again? He has no problem pooping his pants. Word on the street, and don't repeat this because there's ladies around, but Nick Foles is pretty well hung in the hee haw. And last night he was looking pretty stylish at the <laughs> draft party. SB Nation is on the scene. Pretty big tryhard move there, going with the uh, full stars and stripes suit. I guess if you're not funny, you have to wear a prop like that, walk around like a goofy motherfucker. I saw him, he was basically kissing the Packers fan, telling him how great Aaron Rodgers was, so. It's disgusting. Well, first of all, I love the get up. Thank you very much. Uh, what's your name? I'm Honey Bear. Honey Bear, okay, so, now if I was Mel Kuyper or Todd McShay right now and I took a look at you, yeah. I'm gonna have to say there's some concerns about the knee and what's going on physically. You know, really, that's what happens when you try to kick a Packer fan's butt, you oh, know. Oh, I agree, I agree. You know, I did win, clearly, because, you know, Bears always win when it comes to those kind of things. Maybe not always. Well, it was yeah. Last, yeah. We I, I'm not giving up on EJ Manuel yet, though. I mean, the guy oh, has... Oh, he's not, also a bum. You know, well, I, I, Listen, I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of bad quarterbacks. I'm a Chicago Bears fan. I know a bum when I see a bum. EJ Manuel's a bum, Matt Castle's a bum, Kyle Orton, he's the rocket arm, gold, beautiful boy. I have not seen an, I, I, I think Manuel hasn't gotten enough, enough of a fair shake, but we could end up drafting a quarterback. I don't know how I feel about it because the quarterback class is not strong this year. What are you going to do this year now that you got rid of the biggest scumbag in the NFL? Like, what, do you guys even have an identity? Because all you've, all you've been for the last few years is the guys who like step on you when you're down, kick you in the balls, I got, you know, gouge your eyes out. What are you gonna do now? You have nothing. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess uh, I'm kind of pissed about the John Sue leaving, but uh, I don't know. I think we're gonna fuck so, it up. So Lions fans can't even say his name. 
Yeah, no, it's. I didn't. Right. What are our thoughts on Darren Sharper? Ooh, that's a tough one. Put it this way. I, went, I, I took it. I don't it. know how you're going to put it, but I'm excited. Well, look, I have a signed jersey by Darren Sharper, he, and, and it was hanging on my wall, and now it's no longer hanging right, on my okay, wall. Okay, that's a good man. You got to take that. Did you burn it, or did you put it away, put it away. hoping for a comeback? Not hoping for a comeback. Okay, all right, all right. This, why, why aren't you drunk? Are you on parole or something? Your your owner's a total buffoon, like yeah. a, the all-time moron. What I mean, you got you. you if I was you, I'd just give up. I wouldn't even. I would. I would retire from football if I had to root for a team owned by Dan Slater. Because I'm a Bears fan. We stink, but at least our owners care, and they try to do stuff the, they care the right a way. A bit. He they cares, care but he's just an idiot. Yeah, he cares a little bit. But then you did get that contract to Jay Cutler, right? NFL. By the way, where? I, how can you afford to stay in such a big city like this? I got good friends. I stay with friends. I was gonna say, there's no way you can afford. I mean, a country <laughs> bumpkin like you from from Green Bay, Wisconsin, you can't stay. In a big city like this, eat you lot. And have a good Thanksgiving day. You're not going to enjoy the evening. That's fine. You know what? At the end of the day, I'm richer and better than you. One, 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 one more thing. Listen, for you. listen. This is why. This is why I'm. What do you got? The God Family Packers. Listen, <laughs> listen. This is why I'm on TV and right. you're in a trailer park, Connie. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is Big Cat signing off. Uh, we talked to a lot of good NFL fans. Everyone is really excited. Draft day, everything's new. It's like opening day in baseball. Everything's fresh. People have all the optimism in the world. We even talked to a couple Browns fans that didn't, you know, they were actually still alive. I don't know how that's possible. So good luck to every team. By the time you watch this, you already know who you pick. So this will kind of not be timely. But good times and uh, good luck and I, I the CPD needs to watch out for that Eagles fan because he's scary yeah it's a, be hey don't break anything <laughs>